The Plain Truth, the story of how the museum's Boeing 727-100 reached its final destination. United Airlines gave the jet to the museum in September 1992, when First Officer Ray Waddell flew the plane from O'Hare Airport to Meigs Field. It was the last commercial flight for the this particular aircraft that's going into the museum. Holly Marine was in charge of ferrying the jet. It towed the plane from Chicago's lakefront to Burns International Harbor in Indiana for storage. Meanwhile, museum staff joined forces with construction companies, city and Chicago Park District departments, corporations, government agencies, organizations, and individuals. Together, they decided how best to gut, move, dismantle, clean, install, and exhibit the 41-ton jet. On moving day, September 22nd, 1993, at 5.45 a.m., strong winds forced managers to put everyone on standby. Dredging continued as the early morning sun broke through the moving day clouds. The sun disappeared, but wind speed decreased and the go-ahead was given. about you know the sand and uh, the crib that we built if that was uh, gonna be sturdy enough but the plane handled it well and we had enough plates so that it was a level and pretty uh, firm foundation everybody did a great job I'm really good I'm very happy The next crucial step was getting it into the museum, but first it had to be carefully taken apart. <laughs> Meanwhile, concrete specialists prepared to temporarily remove one of the building's ionic columns. The final step in actually getting the plane into the museum came on November 18, 1993. Bolt by bolt, it had been reduced to its fuselage, wings and tail, and moved inside on a custom-built ramp. To prepare the plane for operating in the museum, Purdue University Aviation Technology faculty and students created an air-driven system to replace the original hydraulics. Painting the airplane presented another major challenge. Next, the overnight move across the museum's rotunda. This was the easiest move of all because once the fuselage was cradled in place, it only had to be rolled across the floor. By mid-May 1994, workers had completed the structural work required to anchor the plane to the balcony. Go ahead, take this rare opportunity to get on a jet, explore its systems, and understand its operation. This is a hands-on chance to expand your knowledge of aviation. Come. Take flight.